Hi, this is Peter Gianetti of Home World Business Magazine. I'm here with Phil Brandel, president of the International Houses Association. Phil, we're coming to the conclusion of the 2010 International Home and Houseware Show. Coming into the show, I was hearing a lot of uh, enthusiasm and optimism from both suppliers and retailers. Uh, tell me a little bit about how uh, the show's gone and what you've heard from both the exhibitors and the retailers that are here. Well, I think that the anticipated level of optimism has been validated in every possible regard here at the show site. In our conversations with our retail advisory groups, with literally the hundreds of conversations we've had with exhibitors, people are really feeling good about the prospects of business in 2010. I think this show really demonstrates a harbinger of positive things to come. Is, is there something that you accomplished at this show in terms of how you've uh, set it up or uh, the programs that you've presented that reflect the way business is beginning to turn in the market right now? I think from a logistics standpoint, uh, the show has remained very consistent. The value-added programs that have become an important part of what we do here, while they do rotate, change in focus some, from a value standpoint, delivering about the same. I think what really made this show different is there is a genuine sense of optimism, yes, but it's, it's founded in realities of business. What we're hearing is that buyers are ready to open a checkbook, look and forecast their businesses more aggressively, and really build the business in a less cautious way than protecting the business, that, the cycle that we're coming out of. What can the International Housers Association do after this show to help keep the retailer and the, and the seller engaged and to keep the momentum, if you will? I think the number one thing we can do is keep the pedal to the metal in terms of pushing, leading, design and innovation and highlighting it in our industry to the retail community, to the supplier community, and to the consumer. That's what's going to drive housewares in 2010.